Hydronephrosis is a common condition where there is dilatation of the kidney and dilatation of the pelvic callus system. This is the commonest anomaly which can be picked up on the ant antenatal ultrasound during pregnancy. Surprisingly, 50% uh, of these children at birth are found to be normal, whereas 50% of these children could be having a significant cause. So in previously, before 20, 30 years, most of these children were only picked up when they became symptomatic in the sense that when they developed an infection or they developed an abdominal swelling or the child had a decrease in urinary function with a lot of pus circulating in the urine. Thanks to the advances of ultrasound, we are now able to pick up this condition during pregnancy and now it is the commonest modality by which this condition is diagnosed. An antenatal diagnosis of a kidney swelling, that is hydronephrosis, is the commonest modality by which this condition is diagnosed. So not all these children require an intervention, but then once a diagnosis is uh, made known to us, we should intervene at a time before it can damage the kidney. So once we have a diagnosis of hydronephrosis made antenatally, these children are evaluated clinically at birth and then confirmed by an ultrasound done at uh, day three of life. And this is again confirmed by an ultrasound which is repeated by four to six weeks. Based on the findings, the possibility of an obstruction is confirmed by performing a nuclear scan, which gives us two informations. That is one, is the presence or absence of obstruction, and two, what is the degree of functional compromise of the kidney? So based on this information, whether the obstruction is unilateral or bilateral and is obstruction severe or significant, and is there a drop in the functioning status of the kidney, a decision is made either to conserve and wait and watch or to operate and intervene so as to reduce the chances of further damage to the kidney after the baby is born. So the surgery for hydronephrosis is called pyeloplasty, where we remove the obstructing segment and then restore the continuity with a wide anastomosis. This can be performed by open surgery, in the present era, however, it is done by minimal access surgery, mainly by laparoscopy. It's called laparoscopic pyeloplasty, and this also can be done by robotic surgery in older children. Laparoscopic pyeloplasty can be done safely even in newborn babies at the time when we usually diagnose this condition and operate by four to six weeks. It can be safely performed. The advantage of laparoscopic pyeloplasty is these children have very small incisions. Hence, the pain is less and the recovery is pretty quick. So hydronephrosis is a very common surgical condition which is usually picked up on an antenatal ultrasound. The diagnosis is confirmed by postnatal evaluation and if required, a surgical intervention can be done safely in these children by minimal access surgery.